So let's take a quick look at the Kartra page builder. This is what you're going to be utilizing to put together your landing pages. And I'm pretty much just going to go over some of the options, settings, features, and perks that come along with it. If you'd like to follow along or simply test out Kartra, I will leave my link in the description below. Not only does it give you a free trial, but it extends it to a full 30 days. Let's begin. So here we are with a blank page. Now I've done a previous video where I talk about a lot of the templates that they come with. They have a ton of them. I usually don't recommend starting with blank pages, but I just kind of want to show show you what's going on here. So we have some of the components on the top that are pretty self-explanatory. You can also view it via tablet or mobile if you want to. So your pages are going to be tablet and mobile optimized, which is great. And you can see how they look simply by changing on the icons. And starting off with sites, not a whole lot going on here. So it just says this page does not currently belong to any site in particular. So if you wanted to do that, it's pretty much just grouping it where it should be. Nevertheless, settings is going to be like with the tracking IDs. I know SEO parameters. So I did another video about this, but if you wanted to add the Facebook pixel, this is where that's going to go. Make sure you add or add it in and then click on apply. We have some other spots in the header, the body, and the footer in case you have other tracking codes that you might need. From here on on, we have these styles. As you might expect, as you might expect, this is more of like the fonts and the colors and so on and so forth. So you have font family. Let's click on this very quickly. You're going to see there's a good amount there. We have the size of that. We have custom styles, okay, where you can write your own custom CSS. That is not for me, but nevertheless, if you go to page, this is going to be the page width, full fixed. You have page background, content background, business as usual. Now, when we move into sections, we start moving into the good stuff or the, the fun stuff. And here are going to be some of the cool things here. So we have favorite blocks, we have empty sections, header menus. I want to start off with hero sections. I talked about previously in the beginning of this video about how templates are so helpful because they help you get up and running much quicker. Hero sections are kind of like smaller sections of templates that you can just kind of drag and drop where you want. So if we click on that, you're going to see there's a lot of templates here that all we need to do is drag and drop them in here. And we're going to be just pretty much good to go where we can change them around. Obviously, like the picture, the name, let's say we want to use this one. We can drop right here. Okay. I'm just going to go over there. So normally what we would do is, you know, like click here, double James. And we have not caps. There we go. Anything that you want to pretty much click and edit is double click. If you wanted to change this, it's going to be self-explanatory. We have our edit style here in case you want to make some more edits to it that way. Oops, let me actually click on it. There we go. So there's the image. Obviously, we can edit that. There's going to be style. If you want to link it, you have effects and so on and so forth. That's the beauty of these sections in terms of the uh, hero sections, like I said. Anything else that you want to just drag and drop in, for example, like pricing pages or just like prices in general, I believe they have some for those as well. Here's some placeholders with uh, actual landing pages, which is cool. So let's say we want to get rid of this. We can just right there, click that and delete. Yes, let's delete that. And for example, I like this one. It's pretty basic and simple, but I love the simple ones. <laughs> Honestly, I think anything that's simple just makes your life so much easier. That looks great. In fact, I've done many landing pages where I send people to videos like this, where there's a video here, a headline, and pretty much a call to action under it. I could just create a funnel just like this and just be fine and dandy, okay? Here's some others that in case you want to utilize. And things like this just once again, the simplicity looks great in my opinion. If you had a picture here, let's just drag this in so you can see it. Looks great. You have an image there. Call to action. See, this is an example of a landing page that while it is simple, what I probably said five times, you know exactly what it's about and there's no other distraction. Say like this was the brand new camera that you could buy. The camera's here. It's brand new. A little bit details. Click here to learn more. Click here to buy more. Click here to get the coupon. Very simple lander and usually landers like that do very well because there's one main goal and it makes it blatantly obvious and it's above the fold so there's no scrolling that you need to do. Obviously, you might have some like terms and conditions under it and so on and so forth. I know I'm talking more about like landing page anatomy and like conversions and stuff, but that goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. So back to the page builder, excuse me, that was sections. So that was hero sections. Let's see if I can just scroll down a little bit further uh, and show you some of the other ones that they have. Okay, a lot of landing pages, a lot of landing page sections, obviously. These are great for like a VSL, okay, video sales letter. And okay, I think you get the idea there. So let's go back. 
Aside from that, there's gonna be content, there's gonna be features. Call to actions are great. Click here to learn more, click here to buy. I think this looks great. Kind of looks like something you'd see on a software, right? This is what you're gonna be getting. Add to cart, you know, what do we accept? PayPal, MasterCard, so on and so forth. Okay, once again, let's just go over here and click on delete. Okay, and those are the block templates, okay? So for the call to action, that is, we have our opt-in forms, checkout forms, we have countdowns too, which is pretty cool. So let's just throw one in there. Let's say we want to do this. So it's like, it makes creating pages so much easier because it's it's really just dragging the stuff in, changing it around. So for the countdown ending, you can do fixed date and time. You have some dynamic ones on a, a sequence subscription. So if you wanna get a little bit more advanced based on when someone like signs up or if a tag happens, based on the landing day, uh, we have our styles here if you wanna make them bigger. And we have some effects in case you wanna like have it flash in, bounce in and so on and so forth. Once again, we can just get rid of this and delete. And here we are with sections again. Let's just kinda look through one more. Testimonials, portfolios, let's go with testimonials here. Okay, and these usually look great. Uh, I like these, depending on how you want to set it up, whether it's like three blocks, two blocks, or just one. I think that looks pretty good, where you can just add in their photo, their name, you know, what they have to say, of course. Go from there. Okay, and we'll do one more. I know I said one more before, but pricing tables is a pretty big one, so. Uh, these look great, you have the name of your product, whether it's a PDF, whether it's a software, and there's a good amount of them here. These pricing tables are great. I know these are very popular, even with like WordPress websites where you wanna like showcase what something costs, landing pages, websites, whatever it's going to be. And we had plenty more there. So we also have components, okay? So accordion, images, mockups, carousels, icons, videos. If you wanna embed a video, pretty simple to do. This is just gonna be your placeholder as it shows. Uh, and some of these are gonna differ from the shadow under it. In case you're wondering, well, these all look similar. You'll notice a little shadow there, like kind of curved, almost looks like a TV. This looks like it's floating. Anyway, I had like this virus thing pop up that it expired and I lost my train of thought, but those are the videos, uh, webinars, shares, uh, and pop-ups, alert bars, I do wanna alert you to, <laughs> ironically enough. So pop-ups are fantastic, so I'm just gonna activate this. So what you can do, this can happen at any amount of time, whether it's on every visit or the first. I usually like doing the first so it's not so intrusive, but there's also gonna be exit pop-ups. So these can happen like any amount of time. I prefer exit pop-ups just because they're like a last ditch effort. So what happens is when it's on and it's good to go when anyone takes their mouse and they move it to the top like they're about to exit out one of these will pop down and of course it'll say hey before you go how about taking 10 percent off how about you know signing up for a free newsletter in order to get xyz or doing this or doing that this is probably a very easy way to in order to like increase your conversions whether you want more leads or more sales it's a last ditch effort so the person's about to leave you might as well give them a juicy offer so that they can stick around and obviously get the conversion that you're looking for. I've had a lot of great success with pop-ups. This is just over a wide variety of software websites. Same thing when it comes to uh, pop-ups, exit pops, and alert bars as well. These are things that pretty much hang out at the top or the bottom, depending on where you want it. And let's say we wanted to use this one. And as you can see, free download, get our PDF how to make banana muffins right now. So if we click on this, we can edit it. And it's gonna be very similar to like some of the other edits we were making. So this could be an image, it could be a video. We have the parallax scroll, whether you want it to be an image or not. There's also gonna be a delay. So it says, keep this section hidden up upon page landing. It will display at the designated timestamp. So if we delay it, what we can do is X amount of time when someone comes on. So these look really good on mobile too. Like whether it's mobile or desktop is up to you, but this is just another great way to help increase conversions. A lot of people like just keeping them up all the time, especially say like, I'll give you an example on a website. If someone has something important on their website and they want as many people to know as possible, they'll pretty much just keep this loaded after one second. So like it pops up, people see it, whether it's gonna be like a brand new product, a brand new launch, a brand new webinar, if you're giving away something for free, whatever it is you wanna get the most eyes on, even though it's not a website and you're doing it on a landing page, this can be yet another great way of increasing your conversion. That's why I wanted to just talk about those ever so quickly. So the alert bars, the exit pops and the pop-ups, all three great ways to at least increase your conversions, especially when you're using them. So more leads, more sales, increased commissions, whatever it's going to be, make sure you check out those if you do start building landing pages with their page builder. Last but not least, there is the ability to integrate with their help desks. I'm just gonna click this on to show you whether you use Kartra's own help desk or you integrate with Zendesk, you can do that here. So 
easier to get customer support with the products that you're going to be selling. Nevertheless, that's a very quick overview of the Kartra page builder. Like I talked about, I love the sections, especially like the hero sections, just because it makes your life so much easier. Let's throw this in there very quickly. That's pretty much going to be the video signing out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. That was a very quick demo of the Kartra page builder when it comes to building landing pages and some of the features that come along with it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.